Hey, what's going on everybody? My name's Dave and thank you very much for tuning in. Congratulations. We're going to be talking about financial literacy today, specifically about silver and gold and hopefully raising your financial IQ. Now, before we get started, I want to let you know that I'm not a CPA. I'm not a financial accountant. I'm not a financial planner. I'm not a attorney. I'm just going to show you a couple of quick tips. If you want to invest, invest at your own risk. With that being said, let's get moving. Silver, metal, gold, metal. Why would I want to buy metal? What's it going to do for me? Specifically financial protection. What is financial protection? Well, simply, if you were to get fired from your job, lose your house, lose your car, get a divorce, anything like that, you're not probably going to have anything left over. If you have silver left over, you can then take your silver, cash it in worldwide for any source of money to then financially return back stability, if you can do that. How does financial protection work? Simply, I like to say I'd put one to 10% of my annual income in precious metals. The rest of my portfolio will go into investing, investments, businesses, land, real estate, things like that. But one to 10% annually is going to go into metal. My total net worth should probably be, my choice is five to 10% metal. If it's five to 10% silver and gold, it could be 60% land, it could be 40% small businesses, and 10% gold and silver. That's going to financially protect you. If you make $100 million and lose it all, you're still gonna have $10 million left over, at least to get back up on your feet. Now, how exactly do you buy silver and gold? Well, you can simply go on any websites to buy silver and gold, but technically, you're probably going to end up paying taxes, you're probably end up going to pay shipping, things like that, some fees that you can get away with if you just go in, into a jewelry shop is what I like to call around and a coin collecting or coin shop or a coin shop you can go into those if you pay cash you don't necessarily all the time have to pay tax I don't really pay tax when I'm paying cash when I pay with a card sometimes you have to buy more than 500 a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars worth of silver or gold just to avoid your tax also what you're looking for when you're buying it is you're gonna make sure that it is 99.9% silver or 99.99% gold. Technically, like this 100 ounce silver bar right here is it's four nines. A lot of the other bars that you're gonna see are three nines. Regardless, they all have to be nines. Just make sure of that. Make sure that it's not magnetic. Make sure that it's not copper. Make sure that it's not lead. Those are not magnetic either. They are dense, so you could get confused or get ripped off. Make sure that it's not silver clad. Make sure it's not silver dipped or gold dipped. Make sure there's no flake on it. You're looking for solid 100% or 99.999% silver and gold. You definitely want to make sure that it's not chocolate. You can be buying gold coins, thinking they're gold coins, until you feel them. They're going to be really light. Then you find out that it's a gold flake. You can peel open and eat the chocolate. You're not looking for that either. Now, when exactly should you buy silver and gold? Well, if you look at the market, I like to trade with the market. If you're buying for long term, the market cycles typically don't bother for you. But if you are buying long term, it would be a smarter idea to buy, obviously, at the bottom of every dip that we have in every 10 year series or cycle. If it lasts 10 years right now, we're about 10 to 12 years in a boom market completely crazy. So in 1987, we had a, a crash in 2000. We had a crash in 2008. We had a crash and in 2019, as we are right now, threatening to crash. We've seen the pullback. We've seen silver go up to 15. Silver fell back down to 14. I'm going to buy even more. Now, because Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard in 1971, we are, we, the U.S. dollar now trades opposite to silver and gold. So their graph typically looks like this. And you want to probably, if you were smart, pick them up on the bottom. This is where you're buying silver. You're buying it right now is way down here. Right now, the market is way up here. Now, when the market goes to correct, because it likes to do the inverse, the opposite effect is going to be when the market falls, gold and silver obviously are going to come up. And which, if you're buying it over $2 overhead, I'm paying $16 right now an ounce. It's $14 right now 
per ounce. It's $2 overhead. If you're paying any more than $2 overhead, you're going to be getting ripped off. If you're paying $8, I've seen 16, I've seen 100% overhead where people are buying uh, bars of silver for $30 you're getting ripped off. Now, if you're buying for the short term, you obviously want to be buying at the bottom of the market cycles right now. Short term to me would be buying it right now. So if we do see a correction, it's going to skyrocket and you can go cash it in if you'd like to. If you're buying for long term, a lot of times people like to give their silver away to their kids, their family, pass it on to their friends, donate, donate it to a foundation, something like that. But make sure it's metal when you go do it. And one last thing I want to talk to you about is don't keep your silver in your house. Stay safe, be protective, keep your silver somewhere else, buy your own safe, put it in somebody else's house, buy your own safe, put it in a friend's house, a family's member's house, something like that. If not, rent a safe, rent a vault. There is private vaults worldwide, find one of those, put your gold, put your silver in that. Do not keep it at your house. People like to steal these days, do not. Make sure you're protecting yourself as best as you can. So that's pretty much it, everyone. Thank you very much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll be happy to try to reach everyone's comments. If not, I apologize. If you'd like to see more of gold and silver or anything that makes money, anything that's real, anything that can advance you in life, I like to teach about that kind of stuff. I like to advance my life and see what the human is capable of. Thank you very much. See you next time.